Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the tub vane on your front load washer. If yours has become loose or has broken off completely, it will need to be replaced, but it's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we're simply going to open the washer door up completely. And if the vane or baffle is still in place, you'll need to remove it. And to do so, there's typically a hole in the very center that we're going to put a thin blade screwdriver down through. And there are some locking tabs that hold that vein to the outer tub. So once you feel that blade come up against the locking tabs, we're just going to push down, and push them away from the tub. Once we've loosened those tabs, we can then just pull that baffle forward and lift it up. Now the method that we use to remove that vein is to take a screwdriver, we're going to go down through that center hole, which will put us into this area. And this is where the, you will find four little metal tabs that are part of the inner basket that are bent up against those flat surfaces. And we're going to use a screwdriver to push them down to allow that vein to slide away from them. So the first thing we'll want to do is make sure that we don't drive the screwdriver in too far because we'll make a measurement for roughly how far that has to go in and just put a little bit of tape on your shaft or your screwdriver just as a guide. Then locate that center hole. Once we've bent all of those tabs down, you should be able to pull that vein or baffle towards you. And then just tilt it sideways to release it. And that's where the little metal tabs are. And if you wish, you can just pry those up just a bit, keep them from grabbing anything outside of the tub. But make sure that they're below being flush with that surface. Now when installing the new vein, we want to first of all make sure that the screw hole is on the left hand side and then we're going to line up the six tabs with the keyhole slots in the surface of that inner basket. Now you may find it easier to install one side first and then squeeze it enough to insert the other side and also make sure that the leading edge on those tabs is not bent downward. If anything, they can be tilted up just a little bit. Now when it's laying flush on both sides, front and back, Put some pressure on it and then push it straight towards the back of the tub. Now that will lock it in place and it should line up that screw hole. And we can secure it with the screw that came with the kit. Make sure it's tight and secure. And then we can close the washer up. And your repair is complete.